Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak your iPhone 4. Now, this does uh, work for the Verizon iPhone as well as the AT&T iPhone, and the iPhone 3GS, as well as the iPod Touch 2nd generation MC and non-MC models, and the iPod Touch 3rd and 4th generations, as well as the iPad on 4.2.1 and this is an untethered jailbreak which means you do not have to plug it into your computer and rerun the program every single time you want to boot up and use your jailbreak items so uh, this is a really awesome jailbreak and uh, it is called green poison so what you're gonna do is you're going to come over here to greenpoison.com uh, the second O is actually a zero I will zoom in there and show you guys it is greenpoison.com and that will be in the more info you can download it for both Windows and Mac right there now uh, I have Windows so you can just click on Windows however I already have it downloaded it will come in a zip file so if you don't have something to open a zip file and you are on Windows you can get WinRAR that does work so I will have a link to WinRAR in the more info now once you get it, and if you're on Windows Vista or Windows 7, simply right click on it and go to Properties, and then go to Compatibility up at the top, and then check Run This Program in Compatibility Mode 4, and set it to Windows XP Service Pack 2, and also check Run This Program as an Administrator, and then OK. If you're on Windows XP, or if you are on uh, a Mac, then you will be fine. You can just go ahead and run it. Now I'm actually going to demonstrate this using an iPad and uh, I'm just going to show you guys that I am on firmware 4.2.1 so I'm going to go over here to my iPad. I am in settings uh, general about so I'm just going to go over there and uh, as you can see right there, there is the version and it is 4.2.1 so I uh, just wanted to show you guys that and prove to you guys and uh, just to let you know I'm not already jailbroken with Red Snow this is a clean install of 4.2.1 now for most iPad users that is what you'll have to do you'll have to reinstall 4.2.1 uh, or actually just restore to 4.2.1 my bad but uh, yeah just restore to 4.2.1 and make sure your iDevice is plugged into your computer like mine is right there and uh, then what you're going to go ahead and do is just set your device into DFU mode after you've opened up Green Poison. So you don't have to do anything. Just open Green Poison, plug in your iDevice, and set it into DFU mode. Now it doesn't matter where your iDevice is. You can be on the home screen like mine is, or you can uh, just have it turned off. It doesn't matter. You're just going to hold down the home and power button for a total of 10 seconds, and you're just going to want to continue to hold them. Uh, and then once that 10 seconds is up, let go of the power button and continue holding the home button for roughly uh, 15 or 20 seconds, and uh, then just make sure you keep holding it. Now the screen will continue to stay black. It won't change. So if you're worried about it not coming up with anything that's completely and totally fine DFU mode just keeps it black now uh, also some users have reported uh, troubles anyway so what you're going to do to make sure you avoid some of those troubles is open up iTunes now I know you're not usually supposed to do that when you jailbreak but I find that it actually does work so uh, I have iTunes opened up here and I have green poison right here and now on green poison you're just going to go ahead and click prepare to jailbreak DFU if you are on Windows if you are on Mac then just click jailbreak but because I am on Windows I'm gonna click prepare to jailbreak DFU it'll skip past that then you can go ahead and hit jailbreak Now Green Poison is continuing to go. I'm getting a white screen, which is good, and that means it is working. You're also going to want to make sure that your iTunes is up to date, and it is the latest version as well. That is really important that it is up to date, and it is the latest version, and obviously that you are on 4.2.1 on your iDevice. So the scrolling text screen is good. I'm doing this all real, uh, live time, so I'm not cutting anything out whatsoever. So I just wanted to let you guys know that in case you think, oh, well, he's just cutting it out, so mine should take longer than that. No, this is how long yours should take, and it should be the same for all eye devices. It could uh, vary depending on which device it is, if it's older or a newer device. So, uh, But it should be roughly the same. So while I'm waiting for it to do this, 
I also just wanted to let you guys know to subscribe to me if you like this video and if it helped you jailbreak. And uh, also to follow my Twitter. I make recent updates there. I have recent updates there. And I keep all of you guys informed on Twitter. And I also let people know when I create a new video and when that's going to be out as well. So it says jailbreak complete. Now I do have the Apple logo right here. And uh, you can go ahead and just slide to unlock there and scroll over and you should have something called loader. Now what I'm going to do really quick is because, or as I'm going to actually set up my Wi-Fi because uh, I did just recently restore, like I said, and I haven't had time to set it up. So, sorry, I'm just going to set up my uh, Wi-Fi here really quick. You're also going to want to make sure that, again, you are connected to Wi-Fi and not 3G if you're on your iPhone. Uh, so just make sure that uh, you keep that in mind because it will be a lot slower if you are on 3G. And then just open up Loader. And I'm going to turn this sideways here. I don't know if it'll help much, but I'm just going to turn it sideways and show you guys that you just click City and then install Cydia, and it will just download it from there. So because this is going slow, uh, I'm just going to leave it at that. And this does work 100%. Uh, again, it does work for the uh, Verizon iPhone as well as the AT&T iPhone out of the box. Uh, it does work if you don't have your SHSH files backed up. You can just buy a brand new device today, walk home, and jailbreak it on the latest firmware. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. And again, if you are having issues with your iPad and it is already jailbroken with uh, Red Snow, then make sure you restore and you're on the latest version of iTunes because uh, that can actually affect it. So I uh, just want to keep that in mind and that you are on the latest version, which is 4.2.1 for your iDevice, and that you do have the latest version of iTunes. So Cydia actually finished installing on my iPad, and uh, it is rebooting. So just wanted to let you guys know that it does work 100%. Uh, be sure to rate this video up. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And also be sure to subscribe to me. I'm just going to slide to unlock here and show you guys that I do have Cydia. And there we go. That's what Cydia does when you first get it. Uh, so again, please like this video, comment below, and subscribe. Until next time, this is ICU signing out.